In today's video, you will discover Stuttgart, the capital and the largest city of the German state of Baden-Württemberg. With a population of over 630,000 inhabitants, it is the sixth largest city in Germany. Although Stuttgart is widely known as a leading commercial center and home of two major automobile manufacturers, it is also one of Germany's most appealing cities for tourists. You can admire here outstanding art museums, amazing palaces and architectural landmarks representing Baroque, Art Nouveau, Modernist and Contemporary styles. Stay tuned to find more interesting things about the history of Stuttgart and what you should visit if you come here. But first, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Stuttgart is located on the Neckar River in a fertile valley known as the Stuttgarter Kessel at an altitude of 270 meters above sea level and the distance of about an hour from the Black Forest and Schwabian Jura Mountains. Stuttgart experiences an oceanic climate with average temperatures in summer being around 20 degrees Celsius and in winter around 1 degree Celsius. And now, a short history of Stuttgart. The Stuttgart area has been an important agricultural area since the 7th millennium BC, thanks to the rich soil of the Necker Valley. The Roman Empire conquered the area in 83 AD and built a massive castrum near Bad Cannstatt, making it the most important regional center for several centuries. The roots of the current city were laid in the 10th century with its founding by Ludolf, Duke of Swabia, as a stud farm for his flare horses. Initially overshadowed by nearby Bad Cannstatt, the town grew steadily and was granted a charter in 1320. The fortunes of Stuttgart turned with those of the House of Württemberg and they made it the capital of their county, duchy and kingdom from the 15th century to 1918. During the Second World War, Stuttgart was subject to 53 bombing raids, resulting in the destruction of 57.7% of all buildings in the city. However, by 1952, the city had bounced back and became the major economic, industrial, tourism and publishing center it is today. One of the main tourist attractions of Stuttgart is the Solitude Palace, built in 1763 as a hunting lodge and summer residence. Designed in the late Rococo and early Neoclassical styles, the most sumptuously decorated rooms are in the central pavilion. The expensive Schlossplatz is the focal point of the city, surrounded by buildings dating from Stuttgart's past as a ducal and royal capital. The vast open space is a place both to celebrate and relax. In the Baroque park, with its two fountains, when the weather is fine, the people of Stuttgart enjoy spending their time. Dominating one side of the Schlossplatz is the massive Neos Schloss or New Palace. Built in the late Baroque style and completed in 1807, the palace, once home to former kings, is now used by the state government. Another important square of the city is the Schillerplatz, which stands to the southwest of Schlossplatz. It is named in honor of the German poet, philosopher, historian and dramatist Friedrich Schiller. Here is the Stiftkirche, or the Collegiate Church, the main church of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Württemberg. Founded in the 12th century on the site of an older 10th century church, Stiftkirche was rebuilt in late Gothic style in the 15th century and reconstructed in 1958 after heavy damage in World War II. Standing at 217 meters tall, the Stuttgart TV Tower is the first telecommunication tower in the world 
constructed from reinforced concrete and it is the prototype for many such towers worldwide. Although controversial at first, it quickly became a well-known landmark of Stuttgart and a tourist attraction. The Mercedes-Benz Museum is the most visited museum in Stuttgart. It covers the history of the Mercedes-Benz brand and the brands associated with it. The museum contains more than 160 vehicles, some dating back to the very earliest days of the motor car engine. The Mercedes-Benz Museum celebrates the more than 130 years of automotive history in over 1,500 exhibits that cover nine floors and put the invention and development of the automobile into the context of each era's technology, day's life and society. The Porsche Museum is located in the Zuffenhausen district of Stuttgart. The museum building is supported by three V-shaped columns and contains around 6,000 tons of steel, more than the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Inside you can see more than 80 vehicles and 200 small exhibits on 5,600 square meters of exhibition space. In Stuttgart is the world's biggest pig museum. The museum opened in 2010 in the old administration building of a slaughterhouse. Since then, it has grown to the point where it has more than 50,000 items on display. Mercedes-Benz Arena is the biggest stadium in the city and is the home to German Bundesliga club VfB Stuttgart. Stuttgart Hauptbahnhof, known in English as Stuttgart Central Station, is the primary railway station in the city. With its rotating Mercedes-Benz symbol atop a 56 meters tower, is one of the city's emblematic buildings. Around 300,000 people use the station daily from all across Europe. The Stadtbibliothek Stuttgart is the public library of the city of Stuttgart. The building was designed as a simple cup shape with two floors underground and nine above ground. Stuttgart City Library is fully modern. You can use the online catalog from anywhere and members can check out ebooks, podcasts and other media 24 hours a day. The library welcomes almost 2 million visitors each year. The Chinese Garden Stuttgart has a tiny lake and a nice view of the city from above. The garden is available to the citizens and visitors of the city for free use every day. The Stuttgart State Theater is a theater with three locations, Opera Stuttgart, Stuttgart Ballet and Stuttgart Drama Theater. The Stuttgart Ram Museum has more than 60 restored trams and other vehicles, documenting over 140 years of streetcar history. Stuttgart was the first German city with a streetcar network, thanks to the introduction of horse-drawn trolleys in 1868. By 1891, the Stuttgart trams were all running on electric wires. Another interesting museums you must visit in Stuttgart are the Kunstmuseum, the Contemporary and Modern Art Museum, and the Landmuseum Württemberg the main historical museum located in the old castle. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you know other interesting places in Stuttgart that I forgot to mention, please write about them in a comment below. And remember that you can help our channel to grow by just pressing the like button and by sharing this video with your friends.